love playgrounds, little scientists? You do? What's your favorite ride? Mine's the seesaw. Strider, look! There is a seesaw! You want to go on it? Oh boy, yes I do! It's so much fun going up and down! Whoa! Uh, Miss Itsy, I think I'm stuck in the sky. I'm so sorry, Strider. I wasn't thinking about the physics of this. Busy socks. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a spider, Miss Itsy. And I don't wear socks. Not busy socks. Physics. That's the science of how things move. You see, Strider, we're different weights. Yeah, I'm light like a feather. Heavy like a rock. So when I go on the seesaw, I go down. And you go up. It's called balance. The heavier side tips down. But I want to move on the seesaw too. Well, let's try it again and see what happens. Ready? Uh, and... Whoa! Oh no, Strider! Are you okay? Whoa! I flew like a bird. You really did. That's called motion. And it's all a part of physics. You know, there's a lot of movement at the playground. Let's go see what else we can find. First up, the slide. Now what would happen if I let go? Let's count to three and find out. One, two, three. Whee! <laughs> that was so much fun. Now why did I slide down? I think that's because of gravity. You know, gravity's kind of like a big hug, always pulling us down so our feet can stay on the ground. That's why we're not floating around like a balloon all the time. But Miss Itsy, uh, uh, I want gravity to pull me up to the top I'm of the sorry, slide. Sorry, Strider. Gravity always pulls us down, not up. It's like apples falling from a tree. Oh, look, a swing. Do you know what makes a swing move? Yeah, I do. It's spider farts. Ew, no, not spider farts. It's something way cooler called a force. You see, I'm going to use my hands. I'm going to push you forwards. Let's count to three and say push. One, two, three. Push. push. Whoa, I moved. What if you want to push a box of toys around? Does that use force too? Yes, it does. Anytime you use your hands to push, you're using force. That's so cool. It is. Now I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it towards me. Wait a minute. You're not going to slingshot me around the moon, are you? I'm not going to slingshot you to the moon. I'm just pulling this back to help you move. Whoa, I moved. Okay, so push and pull equals movement. I'm a genius. Look, it's a merry-go-round. Hey, Strider, can you give me a push? Of course, hop on. Push. Woo! This is so much fun. You see, when Strider pushed me, it made the merry-go-round move in a circle. That's called rotation. But Miss Itsy, why do you keep moving when I stop pushing? Well, that's because of inertia. You see, things that start to move like to keep on moving, unless a hand or a silly spider leg tries to stop it. It's kind of like a ball rolling across the floor that only stops when it hits a wall. Playground physics is fun. We slid, we swung, we spun, and we did science. Now it's your turn, little physicist. Can you find gravity at work or balance on a seesaw? Go look around your playground and see what you can discover. Goodbye. Come on, everybody. Let's learn about physics together. A physicist studies how things can go from here to there. 
A physicist studies how things can go from here to there. They study the energy around. They know what goes up must also come down. A physicist studies how things can go from here to there. We're gonna see with our eyes, smell with our nose, hear with our ears, and touch with those. What are they? Their hands. Now what do we see with our eyes? I see something that's orange. And what do we smell with our nose? Hmm. Smells kind of like rubber. And what do we hear with our ears? I hear a fun bouncing sound. And what do we feel with our hands? I feel something that's round. What is it? It's a ball. <laughs> Good job! I had so much fun learning about physics with you today! If you want to go on more scientific adventures with me, please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, always be curious, little physicists. Goodbye!